Well, this could be the end of the road for the Florida Panthers and the start of something real special for the city of Las Vegas. Could they get their first major professional sports trophy tonight? The Golden Knights trying to clinch this thing tonight in game five on home ice. Let's go to Vegas and sports line hockey expert Todd Furman joining us with some picks and props. The, the big question mark going into this one is Matthew Kachuk's status. Is that baked into the line here with the, the Golden Knights almost uh, minus 200 at home? It's around minus 190 right now. Yeah, it's getting out of control right now, Chris. When you look at where this number opened in the wake of the Golden Knights going up three games to one after their game four performance where they staved off that late rally from the Florida Panthers, suddenly we're talking about this number approaching $2. And we don't have an official designation on Matthew Kachuk, as you mentioned, but when you read the tea leaves, even if number 19 is out there tonight for the Florida Panthers, you wonder what kind of contributions he's going to be able to make. He only logged four shifts in the third period of that pivotal game down there in Sunrise. Now, granted, he was out there for the final two and a half minutes, but looked like a shell of himself. And the one thing that stands out to me more than anything else is the fact that the Panthers have actually issued an injury designation, which is something you never see in the NHL postseason. Look, if this was the middle of December on a Tuesday or Wednesday night, there is no doubt in my mind that Matthew Kachuk would be shelved for the game. But given everything that's at stake, I imagine he's going to try and go. Maybe they elect to use him on special teams only or in certain situations if they need that late goal. But asking him to log a full workload feels like a leap of faith. Unfortunately for the Panthers, though, he's not the only one banged up. Anthony Duclair missed some time in Game 4 as well. We know Brandon Montour hasn't been 100%, so it's really becoming a war of attrition for a Panthers team that relies on a lot of their top players to make a difference on games of this magnitude. Todd, you, you live in Vegas. It wasn't that long ago you didn't have any major professional sports teams. Then you get the Golden Knights. They take that city by storm. You got the Raiders. The A's might be coming as well. What's the vibe like right now as that city fully expects tonight to get this job done? There is a huge buzz all around town, and it's not just the concentrated on the Las Vegas Strip, but it's flowing into the suburbs. I mean, you walk into any establishments out here, you see plenty of Golden Knights flags. People want to talk about the game. They're wearing their gear, and it's all different sides. I mean, mainly because we've had about 37 jerseys, Chris, in just six short seasons, so you can understand where people made the investment in the team. But this is truly Vegas's team, and it takes on a much different dynamic than the Raiders do. The Raiders had an established fan base, and while I'm not going to downplay their arrival in Vegas, which really cemented this city as a professional sports town, this was a group that was built here from the ground floor up from Bill Foley. And a lot of people didn't think hockey was going to work out here in the desert. There were a ton of skeptics when it came to the season ticket drive before their inaugural season about what things would look like. Would T-Mobile be flooded most nights by Canadians looking for a weekend getaway or teams wearing opposing jerseys? It's been anything but the case. We've seen season ticket prices soar. You've seen everything around this Golden Knights team with full buy-in. And most importantly, you've had seven players that have been here since day one. One of them poised to take home one of the best individual honors you can find in the Stanley Cup playoffs. And that, of course, would be Jonathan Marcheseau if he's able to win the Conn Smythe tonight. Gone from around 18 or 20 to 1 last round before it started against the Dallas Stars to a runaway favorite. So all hands on deck throughout the city. And you just wonder, though, if that level of anticipation and excitement can be the pressure that bursts pipes and puts the onus on the players' shoulders tonight. Yeah, you certainly saw the pressure getting to the Denver Nuggets a little bit last night. Even though they were, they were able to get it done in the end, it was, it was a hard-fought game. Expect the Florida Panthers to come out and try to get this thing back to South Florida. How do you see it going down? you got to pay a hefty price if you want the Golden Knights on the money line. You know, that's been the hard part, Chris. And I wrote up the Golden Knights in this spot for Sportsline at minus $1.55 on Sunday morning, saying that was going to be the best opportunity you could find to back Vegas here. Now at minus $2, even with some of those injuries potentially being a real big factor in this spot, you're not stealing anything. And if you're going to the window more often than not, and not just isolated in a one-game situation, Vegas doesn't deserve to be a $2 favorite here. You have the general public running to back them as well. So I think if you're trying to make a case and you want to have a little bit of exposure to Vegas in tonight's game, uh, I'd be looking to bet them in regulation. You can find a much more reasonable price in that $1.20 range, maybe a shade more. Uh, I think Vegas knows they have to get off to a fast start. And the longer this game goes where they allow Florida to hang around, 
the pressure starts to really mount for Vegas. And I think if the game went past 60 minutes, it would favor the Florida Panthers in this spot. The other angle that might be worth taking in this particular spot, you know, would be going under the total at six uh, that I think the number is going to trend to. People typically shy away in these elimination type scenarios because of the fear that, look, if the Panthers are chasing a late deficit, they're gonna pull their goalie and you may have to dodge a couple of empty netters. But when you look at the way Vegas has performed in these closeout spots, it's been a focus on their defensive efforts, and it honestly wouldn't shock me if they get out of T-Mobile tonight with a win by a scoreline of 3-0 or 4-0. So wait for that 6. That would become the key number here, and I think under makes an awful lot of sense. Okay, under that 6 if you can get it there, and in regulation is a, a much uh, less steep price to pay, minus 115. How about a prop for tonight's game? What is your top player prop? So, so many different angles to try and take in a game like this. Typically, the team trailing three games to one is going to mount an attack and put plenty of shots on net. The problem is we don't know exactly who's going to be out there for the Florida Panthers and trying to read between the lines and figure out what these line combinations are going to look like. I've tended to shy away from a lot of their markets so far. The other thing is the Vegas Golden Knights block a ton of shots. So what I wanted to do is go after a key acquisition a couple of years ago that really showed that Vegas was going to be a legitimate contender. And that was bringing in a two-way forward in Mark Stone, who missed an extended period of this regular season dealing with a back injury, missed a lot of time last year, and was a big part why Vegas wasn't able to make the playoffs. You look at what Mark Stone has done so far this series. Two goals so far. He was held without a shot in Game 4, but before that in the first three matchups, he had 13 shots through those three games. Stone is the key cog on the first power play unit, a willingness to go to the front of the net, get some of those greasy goals, and provide a little bit of traffic. Sometimes you fall victim to narrative, but I don't think this price reflects any of that. I'm more than happy to take Mark Stone as an anytime goal scorer at a price of plus $2 or greater. All right, that is Todd Furman, our hockey expert from Sportsline, thinks the Knights are going to get this thing done in Game 5. There it is. Vegas proud. Todd Furman, all, all these betting guys loving the Golden Knights out there in Vegas. It is now a sports city. If the Panthers can win, they will get this thing back to game six in Sunrise later on this week.